Hello everybody, welcome back to the Gen Z Sanctum. Another wonderful Wednesday, as as Nathan would say. Um, speaking of Nathan, uh, he unfortunately doesn't seem like he'll be joining us this week. Uh, that's fine. Uh, this week is supposed to be uh, Nathan's week of hosting. Um, if you heard the end of last week, we spun the country wheel. And uh, we went ahead and hit um, Romania as the country of choice. So, what exactly uh, did I find in Romania? I found four houses. Three and then a, uh, a bonus house. Which, I always get a bonus house just in case there's not enough content to fill up. And today is one of those days. So I got four options for us today that I'll try to go into as much detail as possible to fill in as much space as possible so that you aren't listening to a 10-minute episode of me just being like, here's the houses I found. All right, guys, that's it. Anyway, so first house. This is um, $592,000 uh, USD, which is quite a bit. I, I'll be completely honest with you this is romania and these are well, somewhat luxurious houses i'll say like this one for instance a uh, three bedroom three bath um what are the details here uh other than the f this other than the fact that it's in carbineca boncrest which is in romania uh an individual villa located on a plot of 334 square meters with a total useful surface of 152 square meters. It's an interesting way of describing total useful surface. The rest of it, complete garbage. Um, a space where refinement and good tastes are at home. Okay. This is translated into English, by the way, so some of it may not make a lot of sense. The ground floor is a is an airy area composed of a gen generous entrance hall, a spacious closed kitchen, and very well organized. Comma. A living area with a sofa, a dining area with a bohemian space for reading lovers, where there's plenty of natural light. Also on the ground floor, we have an office slash bedroom, a generous dressing room that occupies the area under the internal staircase and a bathroom provided with a shower curtain. From the living room, we can reach the backyard. We enter a closed terrace and A, and that's where the description ends. So they didn't even finish. Let's pick up. Uh, let's pull up the photos here, and I'll try to describe them as best I can. Um, we have a house that looks very... Uh, it, it's 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 a mixture of modern, but if you look at it, you can tell that it probably was built some time ago, but remodeled to look modern, because I'm looking up the roof, and under the roof, it's... Uh, like boards under the overhang that sort of go in slots so you can tell it's a little older than today there's a it's in a neighborhood uh that looks also like it was remodeled very interesting uh out back there's a, a stone walkway there's a grill a sink a trash can, some, and ever like a like an outdoor kitchen almost with the a grill, um, tucked into a little tiny building with a roof over it and a light, and also the there's a little patio area also under a slanted roof. You move into the dining room or not dining room, living room area, modern very modern furniture, two blue chairs, minimalistic furniture, um. Where you have just a table that's just a flat white table with a few metal legs on it in very modern in style. B 
big TV with a big sound bar under it. I might the sh it's a sh there's a chandelier that lights up this area, very modern as well. It's just a ring of glass essentially. And then you have a couple different angles. The dining area, small area with windows on all three sides, and curtains blocking up the windows. Um, the the chairs are leather on one side, smooth felt on the other side that looks either dusty or green because I can't really tell. Um, main area door, you come in immediately into the uh, dining, the living room area, and then there's a pillar in the middle, stairs uh, to your left, and then that's where the, okay, so that's where the dining room is, a couple more shots of that, very nice, it's almost, the dining area is almost breakfast nooky, because it's like in its own separate little boxed in room. And then, let's see, what else? More shots of that same area. The kitchen weirdly has a um, has the clothes washer in it. Unless they do dishes in a with the little circle door that you pull out. I don't think that's I don't think that's a dishwasher. I think that's a clothes dryer in a room where you have a counter that has your has a toaster oven in the corner, a mixer, a knife block. It's really weirdly placed. And that all that I look at, it. it's like, why do you have your clothes washer in a kitchen area? That's kind of odd. It's right off the main area too. There's even there's this slanted TV right above a cooktop on the same counter as well, so you can cook while having your neck strained back. Oh look, there, it's a TV. We'll go, my. Local sports team, yay. Anyway, little areas, more tables that are minimalistic where you have a flat glass uh, top with a little like copper-colored bowl in the middle. The legs are also copper-colored, but they slant upwards to a point in the middle of the table. Underneath, of course, there's the fridge. A very weird-looking, although the fridge does have a water dispenser. Very nice. Um dishwasher I see is on the other side so the clothes washer is also in the kitchen so is the dishwasher very weird design I would have stacked washer dryer in like a closet like somewhere else not right in the kitchen very obviously I don't know I'm <laughs> I live in the United States guys I'm not I'm not Romanian uh so normally we um before I continue, uh, so forgot completely about small talk. Uh, I have nothing. I've basically just been work, working and then not working and then getting ready to work again and then not working and then sleeping. The, the usual, you know, so nothing really to add there. Wall oven, I think I said already. The fridge has water dispenser, I think I said. Okay, moving on. First, next bedroom or first bedroom we're looking at. Kind of small. Another TV hanging off the wall in the bedroom with a counter-like table. Like the, there's a table that stretches a, around a wall with a countertop on, on it, which really weird. Apologize, I just yawned. Uh, so I cut that out. Uh, editor, you, you cut that out, right? Right? Who am I talking to? It's me. I edit these things. I'm talking to future me. Uh, okay, very interesting. You have hanging TVs in almost every room. Oh, never mind. Uh, ooh, this is interesting. This is one of the bedrooms. Very modern because it's it's all whites. Not very many darks. There's a lamp that's pink, and there's another lamp that's like glass and copper metal. And everything else is just white and maybe a few gray, light, light grays. Very modern. And on the wall... There's one of those, I think, individual room furnace slash air conditioning units that like hang way up in the corner of the room that you can alter, use to alter. It. So that probably tells me that the building itself doesn't have its own a furnace or air conditioning system. So that's okay. Here we are, another bedroom, also very modern, a lot of whites. The lights are also very white. My personally, for me, I like a good dull yellow light feels much better for me uh this bed starkly unlike the other one is is a like a deep marine blue color 
very contrasting to everything else in the room. Looked very interesting. There's another. It looks like there's like a fake skeleton key because I'm looking at the door and right below the door handle, there's a little brass. But it's not old. It's new. It's like if somebody tried to be like, "Hey, um, I have been um." living in a home with a skeleton key i want to make it again but modern i want the skeleton key to look like a uh, the the head of the skeleton key that you used to unlock the door looks like a normal key and the other end is a can opener like the little metal ring just a simple metal ring at one end and a normal like key shaped thing at the other end very weird but also an, an attempt at remaking what a skeleton key would be like in an older house. You have this the the stairway going up to these two bedrooms with a chandelier that again very modern. Three rows of glass, pale white lights are being used. Again, not my type, but uh, somebody's type. Okay, so there's three bedrooms, closet, bathroom very interesting um white lights again the window is weird because the window is a box that looks like it opens from the top instead of from like swings open from the side it looks like it like comes down and then above that is a half circle shaped part of the window that doesn't open very interesting the shower is in is a corner it's like curved glass corner shower toilet sink which floats well no not floats there's a cabinet that floats off the ground the sink is a big like porcelain bowl not set down in but sitting on top of the the, the counter itself which i've seen is a very modern trend the mirror that hangs over the sink is sort of a um okay uh the 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 tiles we really need to talk about they're the mini squares um little tiny squares i think glass and and they're different colors so there's clear tiles there's like a white yellow tile there's like a gray tile and they're all like mixed in a weird pattern and then, of course, we get to the other bathroom, also modern, but starkly different in that, well, again, the sink is a bowl that sits on top of the table, counter, whatever. Uh, the mirror this time is, is stainless steel framing. The walls, floor are all big, flat, like, tiles with, like, bits of gray running through them. The shower, on the other hand, has one wall that is wood or looks appears to be all just pieces of wood so similar yes slightly different and then we have an i think the final bathroom a little bit weird um similar to the other one in that the fall the floor and all the walls up to the ceiling are large tiles of white with gray patterns running through them the mirror is stainless steel again but in a weird like checkered design with raised texture very interesting uh and then the next picture you click on is actually the like floor plan of the whole house it's very interesting and then more pictures of the neighborhood so some pictures of the railing looks like there is weirdly a treadmill on the deck outside the house itself for whatever reason looks like the houses in the neighborhood actually have some solar panels on them very interestingly enough um yeah that's the first house second house is nine hundred and seventy seven thousand dollars so we're going we're going up and it only it only goes up from here actually i'll be honest with you okay 
So let's see what we got here. We've got a four bedroom, six bathroom house that let's see description um located on a closed street without traffic in a perfectly pri in perfect privacy easy access to the capital belt and the a2 highway streets with new villas high premium villa with special facilities perfect for a family that wants safety prestige is one of the words they used <laughs> recreational spaces for children and adults huge private lot uh opening 50 meters to the to the lake there's a lake um in in steps garage for two cars huge dining terrace basement cellar refined spacious interior huge living room dining room four bedrooms five baths fascinating that they say that in the description four bedrooms five baths when the listing says four bedrooms six baths ooh discrepancies anyway dressing room storage spaces high premium equipment sauna gym security system uh basically the uh andrew tate's house in romania essentially i don't know um very interesting so the lake is green so it's not it's not a very kept lake but the house itself is very again modern different kind of modern white painted walls and ceilings but the floor is a darker wood and the stairs and doors in the main area are a very dark wood with dark wood trim so offsets sauna also dark wood very interesting there's an indoor jacuzzi right next indoor i might add jacuzzi right next to the sauna this looks like it was half staged because there's a dining room with, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's, there's eight chairs in the middle of a room that is otherwise completely empty with some wires hanging out the ceiling where chandeliers should be, but no chandelier. So it looks like this was in the middle. These pictures were taken in the middle of being staged. Yeah. I mean, it looks like this house was just recently built because most of the rooms, there's just a, uh, an end, uh, a dead end wire hanging from a hole in the ceiling where lights should be. It's been recently built, seemingly. Oh, this looks like a liminal space. This is one of the bathrooms, okay? So, very big. It, the bathroom is... is flat tan tiles on the ground all four walls up to the roof are dark gray tiles there's a toilet in one corner and nothing else except for all the way on the other end of the room which is very empty except for these two things is a little glass a little glass door with a glass wall that blocks off a corner with a shower head and that's it. And there's no mirrors, no sink. It's just a toilet on one end of the room, empty, except for this clear glass shower on the other end. It looks kind of liminal, I'll just say that much. Obviously, caught these pictures in the middle of the house being built. A lot of wires, a lot of wires. Even out of the walls, just hanging with caps on them. Okay, this one looks a little bit more put together. Smaller, there's a just a light, um, a light bulb single light bulb screwed into a fixture hanging from a wire from the ceiling so better than some of the rooms that we looked at uh there's a toilet um it looks like it might be a bidet because above the toilet in the back there's like a panel on the wall um uh, a place a uh, place where the sink should be there's two little metal th uh, spigots just on the wall next to the toilet with a hole below it where the drain line would be but it's an open hole. There's no drain line yet. And then above that, where probably a mirror or a light would be, just a wire sticking out with a cap on it. Other side is the shower, which is done. But again, it's just a glass door with a glass wall on one side and stainless steel shower head technology. Here's the next bathroom, which again is exactly the same thing. Toilet on one end, solid tile floor and walls over the other end, corner shower with stainless steel and works here's inside the sauna sauna actually looks like it's put together 
completely. Probably means the sauna company came out and did it separately. Makes sense. Some more shots of the living room still completely empty. Um, between the dining room and what appears to be what's going to be a kitchen, there are there's a like a an area and just glass doors, just like clear glass doors with handles, like in you'd find it in an office building between the kitchen and the dining room. Weird choice of doors, but okay. Hey, I'm not buying this house. I'm cheap. Um, and then just a few more pictures of the outside, and that's it, honestly. Um, and then we move on to the creme de la creme, which is a castle. You heard me correctly. A castle for sale in Romania. Contract pending, however, I will say. Uh, price, uh, $1.088 million USD. Eight bathrooms, seven bedrooms, two land, two HA, which I'm assuming is another form of measurement that's not acres or square meters. Very interesting. And this is also, funnily enough, this is in Transylvania as well. well this, this is the description. This is the It's Halloween, so I thought I'd put a castle in from Romania, at least. In the force of Transylvania, 100 kilometers from Brasso, and I might be butchering these names entirely, Targumers. I can't I'm not gonna read those. A hedge. I'm not going to even try to read the uh, guides except to a petite chateau. Uh, uh, okay, I believe that more than a castle. If you look at a picture, it's just, it's a small house, somewhat small, probably two to three stories, and then on just one corner of the house, there's like a, almost like a bell tower. But it looks modern. Like it was put there on purpose not to not because it was remodeled, because somebody was literally trying to just make a castle just because they could say, hey, I own a castle in Transylvania, baby. You want to come over here and I can suck your blood? I mean, suck your blood. Yeah, honey, Um, we need to take you to the psych psychotherapist. Um, you mean psychologist. Shut up, honey. You're, you're taking this Halloween thing way too seriously. Anyway, back to the description. The property is practically a complimentary castle. What is with these wordings? For new type, Castellanian value, classic style, privacy offered by the 20,000 square meters of wooded land. Change it. Let's see. The winter immaculate snow cat. Okay, they really play this up really hard. Uh, its assets. Let's see. Garden, terrace, parking, and garage fireplace uh, near mountain views. In detail, land. 2HA, again, is used. Rooms, 10. Bedrooms, 7. Area, NA. Construction, 2000. Okay. Condition, NA. Parking, yes. Bathrooms, 8. Shower room, NA. Exposure, NA. Heating, NA. Toilet, NA. Kitchen, NA. NA. That's it. Here are the photos. It looks really good, I'll be honest with you. The pictures are what sold me on it. Because literally it's... Well, it's in the middle of the forest, for one thing. I see buildings off in the distance, so maybe not as in the middle of nowhere as you would think. Built, let's see, 2000, so you can tell it's, you can tell 2000. There's, let's see, a couple of satellites on the roof. The roof is a gray shingling, including gray shingling on the little bell tower, which stands about another story and a half above the rest on, again, one corner of the house, randomly. Uh, walls are like a uh, brown with the corners of the houses made out of like a stone stiletto or uh, maybe the wrong word like a stone stuck on it. maybe re real stones who knows uh then there's pictures of it in the winter time this is very nice um a lot of outside a lot of outside photos and then a picture of from above big like big curvy driveway that goes woo, woo, woo to the house 
curves around in almost like an S shape before it reaches the house instead of directly from the road to the house. Probably for privacy, so all the trees in between can just uh, block people's view. Understandable. If you own a house like this, you probably are doing some weird stuff. Or just want to be alone. Or both. Um, inside pictures would be great, thanks. Um... Oh, there's the front. There's a picture of the front gate, which looks a very old picture. 17, 18, 19, 20. This is all still outside photos. Outside. Okay, so some pictures from the terrace. Some nice stone statues. A little building out back. Another little building out back. A third. Now we get to page 32 out of 50, and we're finally inside. <sighs> you can tell that it was built in the 2000s because it, it it's meant to look older with the style. But the paint colors are definitely not that old. Fireplace is a is a stone, which is weird. It's like probably plastered onto a uh, a wooden interior, or perhaps not. Maybe they carried it in from somewhere else. Main living area, the floor, white tile in a hexagonal. Like living room is just white tile. In a hexagonal pattern. Weirdly enough, I would want carpet, but then again, I don't know. I don't have a, over a million dollars to buy. Um, color scheme, modern. It's white, and the doors and windows are like a dark, almost black outline. Very interesting. Couches, um, big center rug, and of course, TV hanging on the wall, chandelier, modern brass and glass. With bright white. Uh, main dining area. We have, again, the floor is hexagonal white tile. Which seems to cover, actually from what I'm seeing in these photos, seems to cover the entire first floor. Just white tile. The kitchen, weirdly enough, the dining room table, which is another eight chair table. Two on the ends and then three, three. Um is two stories so there's a balcony that runs all the way around the top so you can be on the second floor and just look down to the dinner dining room table and also it looks to, like there appears to be a set of antlers hung on the wall very fascinating very romanian then the kitchen is you can tell this the that is 2000s because the the all of the cabinets in the kitchen are like that light tan wood color that you get from the early 2000s uh white tile but this time not hexagonal actually just squares not squares turned on their side and be diamond shape but just flat straight squares interestingly enough um wall mounted uh or sorry cabinet mounted oven uh, any more pictures of the kitchen? Okay, so going into the kitchen is like an arched um, doorway with no doors. Um, into the kitchen sink, two big windows, little tiny table in the middle of the kitchen. Think, yep. But then here we go. Um, main area, you go up the stairs, you go up the stairs. You turn left, go across the main room, turn left again, up a couple more stairs, around about, so, and with a giant chandelier hanging in the middle of the room. Very, it's all this tan wood coloring as well. It's very, very cool, honestly. I would buy if I could. Uh, you go upstairs, a lot of older decorations, so some old clocks and mirrors that have like older like gold painted wooden frames um furniture is definitely older probably original from the early 2000s a big center rug there's like a dining there's a dining room with seven chairs one on one end at six on either side and then one end is just empty with the center rug which is blues grays and browns uh same with the couches interesting so they have a second dining room on the second floor and then on that one corner of the house that i told you about that leads up to like a bell tower there's a spiral wooden staircase that goes up to an empty room that has nothing in it where the belt that is essentially the bell tower with just a single light 
It's very cool. Definitely an ego-built house, I will say. But it's amazing, and the pictures are very nice. Why not? Why not do our, our third house? Sound, sounds like a good idea. Um, this third house, 732,000 uh, AUD. For some reason, the site, this site doesn't do American USD, but you know, all right. Does, do I have to translate this into English or is it already in English? Looks like it's already in English. Interesting. Excellent through experience. We propose a traditional villa in the heart of Transylvania, again, Transylvania, with great tourist and commercial potential. I should probably read this like I'm reading, like Dracula, like offering his, imagine the, in like a modern day Dracula, where instead of having a guy come sell the castle, the this castle appears on one of these realtor websites, and this is just the description. Um, the construction was completed in 2020 on the plot of 1,800 square meters with the height regime of basement plus ground floor plus attic. It is fully furnished and equipped to enter a tourist circuit. Most of the furniture pieces are made of wood and handcrafted. Located somewhere... That one started to go Russian. What the fuck? In the... Arghita area. In the picturesque setting, you can enjoy a relaxing space with a playground for children, a gazebo, a heated and illuminated suspended wood house, a hot tub with a sauna, a rustic grill, an electric grill. In addition to all these, there is a 40 square meter annex with a bedroom. The villa was designed as two separate apartments with dedicated utilities. Each side has its own meter and can be sold individually if you want to purchase it separately. Generous living room, dining room, bedroom, and three fully equipped kitchens with the necessary equipment. Enjoy modern comfort near some of the most beautiful places in Transylvania with quick access to the Plate Salt Mine and some other name in Romanian that I won't try to pronounce. Was that very good? Let me know in the comments if I did a really good Dracula accent there. Alright, look at these. Uh, well, what he said is correct. There's two separate units. There's a house that looks like a normal house and then there's a tiny house made almost entirely of wood that is very interesting nine bedrooms seven bathrooms let's look at these pictures pictures are a bit small um the house looks uh very much older because um wooden framing on the outside uh stairs up to a wraparound porch almost and the shingles on top are older like almost is that stone shingles? I don't even know if stone shingles are a thing. It looks like a stone shingle. Um, yeah, one one of the bedroom, <laughs> one of the bedrooms is really weird because it's on one side of the house with a roof curve. So you go to bed with the wall directly to your right, just the curved roof. So you sit there with your head cocked to the right because the wall next to you is not flat. It goes slants up above your head. Both walls are shoved into the like the triangular corner of that room while on the other side is just a couch with some cabinets wood framed though very very fun that's what caught my eye and what i like about it let's see another bedroom is also shoved in there so basically the your head is shoved in and the ceiling slants away from you because you're shoved into the triangular corner of the room um very nice wood framing, though. Uh, chandelier, a little weird. Looks like it was made with uh, antlers that were carved out to have put wires and then light bulbs on the end of it. Very fun. Very rustic bathroom. Shag, very big shag carpet. Almost looks like a bear rug, but I could be wrong. Um, it's a shower head in a tub. Very interesting. 
the tub has a wall in front of it with a little access panel and then the toilet is on the other side of the room it's another bathroom same thing except the toilet's in the corner the triangular corner so you're sitting there probably having to lean forward because this the roof slanting past your head in the back kitchen is in the middle of being remade apparently because there's an old white fridge the cabinets that hang above the countertop are white the cabinets below on the floor with the oven are green of all colors and the countertop is like a dark like a dark black color and the floors are appear to be hardwood weird color but okay um let's see dining room also wood floor S carpet uh the table has one two three four five six tables two on t one side two on the other two one on one end and one on the other giant tv in the kitchen in the dining room which i never can understand means you can't have family dinner everyone's going to be staring at the local football game which they may not have in Romania, actually, so it might be good that they have that because it'd be boring otherwise. Um, and then beyond, right beyond the dining room area, there's just a little. I think this is what they called the annex because the room is tri is a triangle, flat wooden floor, and both the walls are just the triangular sides of the roof coming up to a point, and the other end of the wall is windows that look out. Um, and then there's just a few couches that are like on the ground. No, not set up, which is, eh, I think it's cool. I think it's cool. Another, another view of the dining room shows on the other side, there appears to be an, an oven and microwave in the dining room. Very interesting. Very interesting. Another bathroom. This one confuses me. One the the tile on one wall is is like rough stone that's offset. So the different tiles are pieces of stone that are squares, rough on the edges, and they stick out at different uh, different lengths from the wall. Feels like you'd be stubbing your toe on that all the time. Could be. Uh, let's see, S there is a sauna that has like a, a, has a couple of seats, traditional wood burning stove with the stones on top. Very nice and then the local neighborhood um has houses that are similar to it nearby and then it circles just back around to the beginning the second house is just shown on the outside you don't actually get to go inside which is really weird but that is all and hopefully we get to come back next week because even though nathan is feeling somewhat ill this week hopefully he'll feel better enough to come back next week so i'm gonna go ahead and spin the wheel for nathan and next week we'll be doing libya is this liberia or where is this oh yeah libya sorry not liberia what am i talking about libya okay well Guys, thank you for listening to this episode. Tune in next week for Libya.